we're going to start with our plastic sunglasses and we're going to try to pop these lenses out. The easiest way to do that is to pull on these lenses here and pop the frame out the front and your lens should come right out. Again, just pull on the frame and pop the lens out and you should get both of your lenses free. You're going to use these for your design. So we need to get a couple measurements and we'll use our digital caliper to do that. If we turn our caliper on, we need to bring it to a closed position and we'll click the zero button. That will make sure that this is at zero and when we pull the caliper apart, it will increment regularly. And when we come back to zero, it should be zero. We can also change millimeters, inches, and some of them are fractional. So if we'd like inches, this is fractional. I'm gonna stick to millimeters because that's what lenses are generally uh, described as. So I'm gonna get an overall measurement of these lenses and I wanna make sure I get the furthest point in the width. And I'm gonna be as accurate as I can. And it looks like I've got 48.36. And that's in millimeters. I'm gonna do the same for my height and I'm trying to get the furthest points. And that looks like 39. Point nine four millimeters. So now that I have my measurements, I'm going to trace this and use this as part of my design. It's very difficult to draw this shape perfectly in fusion without getting a lot of uh, detail. So what we're going to do is use this as our geometry and with the marker we'll know that our lens fits on the inside. So we'll do a really good job of tracing this and I really only want that inside edge. Once you feel like you've gotten this inside edge we can now use that for our design. We only need one. Ideally, these are symmetrical uh, or mirrored from each other. So we only need one and then we'll use in the program, we'll use the other one to flip it. So once you have your design here, we'll take this image and bring it into Fusion. The fastest way to do that is to center your camera on your phone over and try to take a pretty even shot. I'm going to take this picture and put it on the computer. Once you have popped your lens out of the frame, measured the height and width of your lens, traced it and taken a picture, open up Fusion 360. You should have a blank canvas. Your Z should be up and your view cube at the top right. We're going to check to make sure that our document settings are in millimeters, so double check. And the next step that we're gonna do is create a blank drawing. And we're gonna right click this top level of the browser and hit new component. I'm gonna click new component slowly twice and this is gonna be my lens. Now this black dot shows that that's my active component. We're gonna create two lens and half a frame and then we'll make the whole frame. We'll also make the sides of the glasses itself. So we'll have a couple different components to make up our whole product. From here, we're going to create a new sketch. So we're gonna draw a 2D element first and we're gonna draw on this plane facing us here. Once you have selected that plane, we're going to insert and where it says select, 
let's click image and go to the picture that you have saved. I'll open that and it's asking me where I would like to place it and I will click it here. I can place it in the center of my document. Know that it looks like the center of my frame is centered on the origin, which is really good. That will enable me to draw a nice box and move this later. If we know the distance, if we know the distance between our frame, then we can start to move our object over a little and get a pretty good idea of what we're looking for. Just for now, I'm going to import this image and then I'm going to hit OK. Now I have my trace on Fusion and I can get started. Make sure that you save and that should complete everything for the first step of this project.